We're going to show you four different carries, four different bath carries that all use a short woven wrap, so size two or three. You probably got a size six or seven maybe as your first woven wrap. And perhaps you're wondering now what you can do with a shorter wrap. Well, short wraps are awesome. We use them way more often than longer wraps because there's definitely lots of options. I'm just gonna go over some back carries. There's more back carries that you can do and there's hip and front carries. So lots of options for sure. And definitely just as safe and secure as a multi-layer carry with a longer wrap. Just depends on your practicing and making sure everything's nice and tight and making sure your baby has a good deep seat in the carry. So the four carries that I'm gonna show you today are a ruck, and then R, 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 and then double rebozo, and finally half JVC. So I'll talk a little more about each of them as I do them, and I'll show you a few different variations, a couple different time variations for them as well. So just to warn you, I'm not going to be going through each of these carries really, really slowly. I'm not doing super detailed instructions. This is more to show you that you have lots of options and to just demonstrate the subtle differences between each of these carries because they can seem quite similar. So this way, if you see them one after another, you can see what makes them different from each other. Okay, first we're going to do a rack. And this is a great single layer, very basic carry that is awesome because you can do that in about 10 seconds. <laughs> so get your wrap. I'm going to use a size 3, but you can do this with a size 2. So find about the middle of your wrap. Put it on the middle of the baby's back. And then get your baby up. With a wrap, both tails are coming over your shoulder. Shoulders. So I take the top rail and pin it under my chin while I get a good deep seat. Then you make sure that it's nice and tight, coming up over your shoulders. And here you have two options. You can tie it under their bum in a double knot. That's called ruck under bum. So I'm just going to do a single knot, but that just shows you what it would look like. Or you can cross it under their legs, bring it around to the front, and tie it in the front, and that's a ruck tied in front. So with the size two, if you're doing a ruck tied in front, you might find that you're tying it with the very tippy tails, but that's fine. Um, as long as you've got a good deep seat and it feels tight, you should be good to go. I find that ruck tied under bum, with that knot under their bum, it actually works better with a bit of a, a heavier um, or bigger baby because their, their bum is bigger and it kind of anchors that knot in place. So if you have a littler baby or newborn, you probably would prefer to do a ruck tied in front with a short wrap. I'm using a size 2, but you can use a size 3 for this. So you're going to start with both tails over your shoulder, because we're going to do a ruck pass first. So we're going to start with a ruck. And notice that this tail is quite a bit shorter than the other. <clears throat> so tuck it under the bum. Okay. Hold both in your hands, coming over your shoulder. The short one, hold it with your chin. And you're going to pass this long side <coughs> over, under your arm. Find one of the rails. <laughs> and pull it straight across his body. This is the reinforcing pass. You see it goes from under this arm, across to under this arm, here, and make sure the seat is tucked in there too, and that's it. So if you're using a size 2, you can tie it off at your shoulder here, so you, you do a double knot. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you do a double knot here, you'd be good to go. But if you're using a size 3, you'd have longer tails. You'd also start with a bit of more length on, the, on that side. So you'd have longer tails, so you could twist them like this a few times. You can tuck one side under here. Tie this in a knot, and that's called a candy cane chest belt. So, R R R R, which is basically a reinforced ruck with a candy cane chest belt, or tied at the shoulder. Now I'm going to show you double rebozo. It's called double rebozo because there's two rebozo passes. So a rebozo pass is any time the wrap comes over one shoulder and then across the baby's body, whether it's on your back or your front. And it doesn't go under their legs. It gets tucked under their bum, but the wrap stays on top of their legs. And then it comes under the other arm. So anytime it looks like that, with the baby in it, that's a rebozo pass. And we're going to do one going this way and one going the other way for a double rebozo. So baby's on your back. You're going to have a short tail coming up over this side. Tuck in their seat. Now this one long piece is going to go over your shoulder. This is called the shoulder flip again. And now you're going to do rebozo pass going the opposite way. So over this shoulder and under the other arm. Tuck in the seat. Now this tail comes up and gets tucked into this chest belt. Pull it down and tighten. And you pull the two knots 
out to the side. So you can see two Rebozo passes. So I'm not going to do this again, but I had way too much tail on this side. You can see they're totally uneven. But that comes with practice. But this is what the chest belt will look like. And the two Rebozo passes at the back. The last carry I'm going to show you is half JVC. JVC stands for Jordan's back carry, which is a longer wrap carry. So this is literally just like half of it, and then you tie it off. So you're going to have a long side and a short side. The short side is coming over your shoulder. Tuck in the seat. We're going to be doing a rebozo pass. Over shoulder, under arm. Then it's going to come up and shoulder flip. Now, here in the double rebozo, you just did another rebozo pass. But what makes this different is that you're going to do a cross pass. So, spread it out. Pull it down and across his body, and then the last minute you stick it under his leg. And then you tie it off here in a double knot. So the reason I like this carry a little bit more than double rebozo is that if he's trying to straighten his legs and pop out of his seat, because this fabric, it's a cross pass at the end, he can't do that as easily. So this is maybe a bit of a better carry if you have a leg straightening baby. And once again, your options are a double knot at the shoulder, or you can do the candy cane chest belt. So this is the half JVC.